guys and welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to be testing out this new <laughs> this new product I'm super excited about um, these are the um, glitter mousse UV liners that they came out with like a couple weeks ago and I was able to get my hands on the full collection <laughs> they have so many colors um, yeah I think it's seven of them and then uh, this is the one I'm gonna be using today it's the shade key lime I'm so excited and then also lastly lemonade so this is lemonade key lime which I'm grabbed for my shirt <laughs> and then um, this pink shade which is punch um, amethyst this is pretty purple and aqua glitter mousse oh the shade it's a brand um peacock i'm really excited about this shade Ugh, i kind of want to use that shade today too we'll use it today as well and then um the shade peach which i feel like this would be normal for me like if you've seen me do um colorful eyeshadow it's usually a nice peach so yeah um i think they claim these are glow in the dark which i thought was weird that they named them uv when they glow in the dark but or maybe they were in um in the dark with a UV light. I don't know. But um, I'm not testing that. I don't have a UV light. Um, I don't think I could get this room dark enough to kind of show to see if they glow in the dark and stuff like that. So we won't be doing that today. But more or less just want to show you what they would look like on your eyes if you just used them for every day. Which they should be very bright, pretty colors. <clears throat> These are activated, activated, water activated liners. So that's what we're going to be using today. I have a little pot of water next to me, my mirror, and then we're going to go ahead and start with the lime green one, the one in the shade Key Lime. So it tells you just to use a wet brush and then to just kind of <clears throat> mix it up. It's kind of like, you know, um, those watercolors you grew up with, they were water activated, but I mean, I guess these are safe for your eyes, hopefully. And then I'm going to go ahead and begin. Oh, oh, that is really bright. Duh. I'm getting it on my lashes. Wow, that is so pretty. It is so, so pretty. Wow. Okay. Now with the other eye, I'm gonna add a little bit more water. It dries really quick, which I like. So you're not gonna shallow with it too much. And then I'm gonna place it right here. And move my way in. That is so cool. That is so cool. I feel like I'm doing pretty well for never having used a brush like this to do my liner. Normally I just use whatever applicator comes in the packaging. I'm gonna clean that off. I'm gonna close that one up. Just close it up. I think that's so cool. Can you guys see how green that is? I feel like it's more green in person for sure. On camera it's looking a little more white, but it is green. It's green. And I'm gonna go in the sh with the shade Peacock because my bra strap is that color and it kind of goes. <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and run with it. And then with that same brush, I clean it off a little bit. When I do the same thing, I'm just gonna mix it in there. Like I said, just like those paint, those uh, water activated paints that, you know, we grew up with in elementary, probably middle school too, too. And, um, and then I'm just going to finish off my wing. And then, um, okay. 
ein. I can't get a point, but I think it's just my brush. I don't think. I don't want to blame the liner because I feel like it's the brush and my hand technique. I really don't believe it's the, um, the liner. Okay. Oh, it's really, really pretty. So I don't know how to blend it. I kind of just layered it on top a little bit of the green to get it to kind of blend into each other. I guess I could have just mixed them. <laughs> don't at me, guys. I'm, I'm learning. I am learning too. And then I'm gonna thicken it right here just because I feel like it's thin right there. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna add a little bit more water because it dries really quick, which I like because um I think if it didn't dry quick, um it would have like moisture issues if you go to seal it and it's not dry. Or it's not close to being dry, so that's cool. And I have a lot of mascara transfer on the other end. Is this the best idea, Denise? We're gonna do it anyways. Yeah, there was mascara all over my eyelid. Whatever. Now we're gonna just do that and ooh, that is so cool. Yeah, these are super easy to use, um, which I've never used anything like this, so I'm going to go ahead and say that these are user friendly because I've never used anything like this and they're this, they're this easy. I mean, I don't even, like, I have nothing to say. Yeah, it's just super duper easy to use these are so nice okay so that's really really cool now I want to use a third color just because I can I'm um, just getting water everywhere that's fine What's the third color I want to use? Let's use this bright yellow in the shade Lemonade. I'm going to pop that in the beginning. I don't know, maybe the end. We'll see. We will figure it out. Let's dry my brush a little bit. Or getting the excess off. But I'm going to go ahead and dip into the Lemonade, the lemonade shade. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. Oh, I don't know. Should I just use it as a transition? No. I'm going to use it. Oh my gosh. I'm like going to cover the green, aren't I? Oh, ooh, that's cool. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to use it in the middle to blend in both shades. Oh, that's That is so cool. Oh my gosh. I feel like it brightened it. I don't know. You guys probably saw it better on camera, but in person, I feel like it brightened it for sure. Yeah. Water, because it dries really quick. Which again, I'm cool with. 
I'm fine with that. I feel like not like water running down your face. Oh yeah, that's super nice. I kind of want to layer the green a little bit to intensify it because I feel like the yellow is now taking away from it a little bit. So um, the green is definitely there. The blue is not. I mean, the green is not. So I'm going to go back with the green. And then I will give you guys my final thoughts on these. I think you guys already know, though. Pretty sure you guys already know. You already know. Dipping back into the green. Okay, so real quick, if you're just going to be selective of your colors, um, I don't think you need oh, there we go, both the shade Lemonade and Key Lime. I would just go with um, whichever one that you think you would like more, but I mean, you can't really tell on my eyes anymore where the green and yellow begin. They're very, very similar. It's the only thing... I mean, I did layer it on top of the green and the blue, so it could just be that, um, because I layered it, that you can't really see it, um, it's true color. But oh my goodness, that is so cool. <laughs> I kind of want to wear a lash, I kind of don't, um, but I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes a little bit, so, so you guys can kind of see how it performs better or how it looks like with your lashes. Mine are kind of drab and don't don't stand up very well. So I do apologize for that. So yeah, I mean I think it's really really cute and different and I don't know, I can't wait to try more colors honestly. This is so cool so easy to use and I feel like it's a really neat formula just because I don't think it's gonna have the same drying outness like a normal liner would um, I think since these are water activated they're gonna last a lot longer um, do I suggest you you know hoard these for years probably not am I gonna do that probably just because I'm gonna be using these so rarely, you know, in between. And that's what I like about how affordable they were, because they were super affordable. I think the whole collection of seven was for $25. So, and then like, it was like $30 for free shipping. So I just had to get like a glitter free shipping, which I was totally cool with. But like, these are so unique and gorgeous. I just cannot wait to use them. Like more often, actually. Actually, I'm just gonna swatch them all for you guys. Okay, we're going in with the shade Key Lime, the same one I used on my eyes. Ooh, that's pretty. And now we're going to go in with the shade Lemonade. Again, I use this shade on my eyes as, as well. So you can kind of tell the difference there. But I mean, like I said, it's, the difference is very, very tiny. Um, I would just encourage you to get whatever color you wanted of the two. Definitely don't get both. I don't think that's a good idea. Unless you get the whole collection and then you're saving money anyways. That's the Peacock shade. So these are the three shades I used on my eye today. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. I'm thirsty. Okay. Now I'm going to use the shade, um, the pink one, Punch. Mm 
punch. Ooh, yeah, these are so cute. And then um, the shade Peach. Guys, these are so much fun. And yeah, some of them are drying like immediately already. Oh, what's the shade of the peach one? Oh, peach is peach. <laughs> Duh. Ooh, that one. Yeah, these are so pretty. So pretty. I forgot the blue one, my bad. I should have done aqua earlier when I was doing other shades. I guess I could have added aqua to my eyes. Duh. <clears throat> Why didn't I add aqua to my eyes? I mean, I could. So aqua is kind of like the yellow and green problem. It's so similar to peacock on the eye that you're probably not even going to be able to see it. Nope, you can't see it. But on here you can see the difference, you know, aqua and peacock. I mean... One's definitely a true aqua. Lastly is amethyst, which is that purpley shade. I remembered that one because I struggle to say the word amethyst so much. So I know I'm, I'm weird. That is the last shade. And there she is. So here is the swatches. Key Lime. Lemonade. <laughs> aqua. What's the pink one called? Oh, Punch. Peach. It's a blue one. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. Oh, the blue one's aqua? So this one's peacock. Peacock is more aqua. I'm confused. Anyways, aqua and amethyst. I guess I didn't get the whole collection for like 25 bucks. Um, you know, I think it's really cool, really affordable, and really unique. Um, you don't see really unique products anymore just being honest so that's it for my video today guys um i hope you guys um like this video liked me testing this out this was the first time i applied them to my eyes and i found them to be super easy to use um just absolutely opaque and bright and beautiful just what you're seeing right in front of you um I can't wait to use these more. I really, really highly recommend these. Um, again, Glitter Mousse. Um, they're a small indie brand, so you can find them online. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and, I <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!